Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. We begin this half hour with an actor who is no stranger to activism. During a career that has crossed seven decades, Jane Fonda has raised her voice on issues, sometimes controversially. Now she's getting involved again, this time at the grassroots level. Senior climate correspondent David Schechter caught up with her on the campaign trail, just not the one you might think of. Imagine this. Somebody walks up to your door in suburban Detroit, and it's Jane Fonda? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, makes me want to cry. This is what the Hollywood actor is up to this election season. She's done so much, and I've been making phone calls on her behalf today. Campaigning around the country for local candidates who will support action on climate change. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. You're so accomplished, you could do anything now. You could do nothing now. No, you now. don't understand, I couldn't. You I couldn't, couldn't. no, because I get too depressed. I mean, this year I said to my agent, I'm sorry, I can't work. When the election is happening that's going to determine the future, I couldn't do it. Next year I'll do it. If you understand what's been going on, they would know that it's because of domestic pressure and international pressure on President Nixon. That For most of her 85 years, Fonda's been more than an actor. She's been a regular presence on the front lines of causes that are bigger than herself. It's Fonda's 1972 trip to North Vietnam. In 1972, she made a controversial visit to Vietnam, opposing the war. In the 1990s, she marched to support women's reproductive rights. You got enough problems of your own. Stay out of my womb. Now she's supporting climate-friendly politicians across the country. This is the, basically the last election that can have a major effect on climate. She runs a political action committee and has handpicked over 100 lower-level candidates who will stand up to the political influence of the oil and gas industry. The fossil fuel industry spends hundreds of millions of dollars lobbying, and it's very effective. So we need to get people elected to office that don't take fossil fuel money. Many of the candidates she supports are running for under-the-radar offices like Portland City Council or a school board seat in Virginia, and she's raised more than $3 million to help them get elected. I've seen some of the photographs of you, you know, campaigning. In with, the field? Yeah. yeah. And I think people would be like, what's Jane Fonda doing uh, in Michigan with this low-level candidacy? People are like, what's happening here? What? Why are you out because there? Because that low-level candidate could make, could, first of all, could rise up and become the governor of the state. You want to groom them to rise up into leadership positions um, as climate champions. If we have the right people elected to office, we can do it. The world is drowning in fossil fuels. Greta Thunberg is the young Swedish environmental activist who skipped school to protest for stronger action on climate change. She inspired millions around the world, including Fonda. <laughs> So in 2019, Fonda started thinking about how to bring that kind of energy to America and the capital steps. I'm going to leave California, I'm going to move to D.C., and I'm going to raise a ruckus. I'm a little worried, though, because camping out there, where do you poop? <laughs> it's an important question. Because, I mean, I've camped in the wilderness all my life, and I know how to deal with it, but I didn't know in a city. As it turned out, making a ruckus didn't require camping out. Yeah! Fonda was arrested five times that winter, protesting for climate action, at times wearing handcuffs alongside famous friends, like actor Ted Danson. Fonda was charged today with crowding, obstructing, or incommoding, causing inconvenience. It was aimed not at the government, it was aimed at the great unasked. There's like 70% of Americans that are really concerned about the climate crisis. And when they're asked why they don't take action, they say, well, nobody asked. You're asking. We're asking. Nonviolent civil disobedience and protests historically have changed history. But you need people in the halls of power with ears and a heart to hear the protests, to hear the demands. And that's why Fonda has moved from protest to politics. Even though 62% of Americans say Congress should do more to address the problem of climate change, 
many politicians, Republican and Democrat, vote against legislative solutions. She believes new leadership in state and local government will change that. In many ways, it feels like you're choosing the path of most resistance. Finding local candidates, going out and talking to them, raising money for them. It's so fun. It's a lot of work. Oh, it's so much fun. I don't get depressed anymore. I get angry, but I'm not depressed. Are you hopeful about? I am hopeful. Yeah. You're damn right. I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't hopeful. Hope is a muscle. It's like the heart. It's a muscle and you have to activate it to feel it. It's very different than, than optimism. Optimism is everything's going to be fine, but you don't do anything to make sure that that's true. You know, everybody needs meaning in their life. When you, you know, I'm old, so I think a lot about being on my deathbed. And I know that when you're on your deathbed, you want to feel that it's been worthwhile. Jane Fonda, engaging America once again and asking the next generation to act on climate change. For CBS Saturday Morning, David Schechter, Los Angeles. I really like that description of the path of most resistance because we hear so many people complain but never do anything to changing it. And, and she is doing just that. Despite the resistance, go in at that grassroots level, try to change it for now and the future. Yeah, it's so interesting to see her in PACS. I love when she, like on the spot, you saw her come up with that hope is a muscle. Right. This woman has been arrested five times over protest over the last 50 plus years on everything. So the fact that climate change is now here for her means a big thing. Right. I hope we all have that much energy. Absolutely. <laughs> when we are at her age.